Hello viewers, this is Dr. Fast here. In today's video, I'll be installing this rear view mirror with home link and auto dimming into this 2023 Nissan Rogue. Now the rear view mirror in this SV trim is just a regular mirror. There is no auto dimming and there is no home link on this mirror. In this video, I'll show you how to remove this mirror and install the one with a home link and auto dimming. The first thing I need to do is remove the factory mirror because if I can't get that off, then I won't be able to install the replacement mirror. Now inside the mounting base, there's a flat metal clip that's pushing against the metal button that's glued onto the windshield. And to release the tension on that metal clip, you need to stick a long, narrow flathead screwdriver into the access hole at the bottom. Push the screwdriver in about an inch and then give it a twist to release that clip from the metal button. Now normally when you put the screwdriver into the access hole and twist on that spring clip, it should release the mirror and you can slide it up. But for some reason on mine, it was stuck on and the mirror didn't move. So what I ended up doing is getting a small hammer and while pushing on that clip with my screwdriver, I lightly tapped the bottom of that base a couple of times and it slowly moved it up and I was able to remove the mirror. So here's a look at the back of the base and where my thumb is. That black clip is where you want to stick the screwdriver in there and twist it so you relieve pressure on the base. Once you do that, then you should be able to slide this upward. On the window, here's a look at that metal button. So let me show you this home link mirror I bought off eBay. On the front, you have the three buttons for the home link. On the right side is on off switch for the auto dimming mirror. Let's have a look at the back. Right here is a photo cell to sense daytime or nighttime. And in the middle is a power plug to power this mirror. Now if you're shopping for a used mirror on eBay, a couple of things to note. One is make sure you have the correct mount that will fit your vehicle. Depending on the make and model of the vehicle, they do have different mounts for different cars. Secondly, since you're installing this mirror in a car that's not pre-wired, you want to make sure the mirror comes with a wiring harness. So the seller would have had to cut this wiring harness from the original vehicle and include it in the sale of the mirror. For this type of mirror, you need three wires. One is ignition 12 volt. One is constant 12 volt and one is ground. Here's a closer look at this connector. I'll show you the pin out on this. Pin one is the top right hand corner. Pin two, three, four, five. And then pin six is this one at the bottom here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Pin six, which is this green wire here, is your ignition 12 volt. Now, depending on the vehicle that this was taken out of, the wiring color might be different. But this pin will be ignition 12 volt. And over here on pin 10, with this yellow wire, this is constant 12 volt. Now this middle one up here, pin 3, is your ground. Also to note, pin 8, that's a pin right below pin 3, is also ground. And some vehicle will use pin 8 instead of pin 3, but both are ground. Here's a wiring harness I plug into the home link mirror. And what I've done is I've extended the wire, these three wires, the green, yellow, and the black, I've extended to this black wire right here and they'll run all the way down to the fuse box area. To hide the wire behind this panel, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. It's held on by four clips, one at each corner. At the bottom of this panel, you see there's a notch. This is where I can run the wire up to the headliner. Here's a wiring harness for the rear view mirror. Now this other wire I have here is for my radar detector. Since I'll be running this wire, I might as well just run the other wire also, which both wires will give power from the vehicle. These two wires run up to the top here, and I zip tied it to the factory wiring harness, and I'll tuck this behind the headliner and run this to the A-pillar. Now I put this cover back on. Remember there's a notch at the bottom here, so I'll route the wire through this little notch here, and I'll clip this back in. To install the mirror, slide it onto the metal button that's on the windshield. And then you can tighten the bottom set screw. Now pull back this weather stripping right here. On this A-pillar, pop open this panel. Right here, there's a metal clip. Now I ran the two cables close to the windshield, down along the side, all the way down. Continue running the cable down to the fuse box area. Here's a fuse panel. Remove this cover. 
Go ahead and remove the side panel. Just stick your finger in the back and you can pop this off. And from here, we can route the wire behind the dash. Now next to this wiring harness, there's a white connector. This white connector is actually the dealer option connector. On this connector, you'll find ignition 12 volt, constant 12 volt, and the ground. So unwrap the tape that's on here, and we're gonna tap our wire onto this connector. Here I'm using a multimeter to test and locate the three wires that I need to tap onto. And again, I need one wire for ground, one wire for ignition 12 volt, and one for constant 12 volt. Now the wire on this accessory connector is quite short, so it's very difficult for me to film the tap that I'm installing onto the three wires. So to help, I'll put up a diagram showing you which wire I tapped. If you're looking at the connector head on, the top left hand pin is pin 1. The next pin over on the right is pin 2. Ignition 12 volt is on pin 1, constant 12 volt is on pin 2, and ground is on the last pin at the bottom right hand corner. Now I do want to mention you can buy a corresponding female connector. With it, it can make install a little easier, but if you want, you can just tap the wire that's on this connector and it'll work the same. For the connection, I'm using T-taps, and I first crimped the T-tap onto the three wires. Here's a look at what it looks like after I install the T-taps. Here are a couple of pictures of the installed T-tap on the three wires. So here I crimped the connector onto both wires. One is for my rear view mirror, and the other one is for my radar detector. The radar detector is gonna use ignition 12 volt, and the rear view mirror is gonna use both ignition 12 volt and constant 12 volt. Now I'm gonna plug these wires, onto the T-tap right over here. Here you see the three wires are connected now. With everything wired up, go ahead and plug the wiring harness connector into the back of the mirror. Here's a look at the installed mirror. As you can see right below the mirror, I do have my radar detector installed. Now since I connected this mirror to both ignition 12 volt and constant 12 volt, the constant 12 volt will allow me to use the home link buttons to open my garage door. The ignition 12 volt will operate the auto dimming function on this mirror. So right now, if I press one of the button, it'll open up the left garage. If I press this other button, it'll open up my other garage. If I turn on the ignition, my radio detector will also turn on. So for those of you who are interested in installing a home link mirror in your vehicle, I hope you found this video to be helpful. For a list of parts and tools used in this video, check out the link below. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.